As we come into our next competitor here, Ryan Cooper is going to be looking to complete this course. And now we're starting to see some urgency. We've just seen Ace to complete the course. So Ryan knows what he needs to do now. Third place in the South Central standings, fourth place at the World Championship. Great hopping out of him. We're not going to see so much Lachey's as we are just going to see some flings on that obstacle. Yeah. In fact, no, there's a link. Love to see and Alex, this is a really fast time here. 45 seconds left on the clock. Ryan is attacking this course with pace. Not one of our taller competitors, but certainly one of our most explosive. Let's see if it can come in handy yeah. on the x -lachets. Gonna try to one-side it. We saw some preteens do this yesterday. And it works! Oh. <gasps> wow, using his, his smaller hands to his advantage there as Ryan completes the course. Alex, we have seen two finishes in a row now from two incredible competitors. You can see Ryan there using every part of his body to his advantage, just using links wherever he can. And he is going to set a very dominant time there that's going to put him at the top of the leaderboard. Yeah, we only saw five out of 19 beat it in the amateur male division. As we now gear up for Ryan Cooper, he missed out on that top placement spot by just 0.1 of a second. And Ryan now knows what he needs to do. He needs to complete the entire course with less than, with more than eight seconds left on the clock. Well, let's see now what he's got in the tank. Mount Lachey makes the catch, and he front grabs it, but it works. Not needing to use a retry like Asa did. Immediately through the sky hooks. Yeah, Ryan is moving through this course with a pace that we haven't seen so far. And now copying Ace's approach, and Ryan is now gearing up to hop into the back end of this course with both of his retries available. Third place in the South Central standings, but fourth place at the World Championship. So this is a young man who knows how to finish in the top four. Let's see if he can do it here. Starts with beating this captain's wheel. He's making yeah, great strides on so far. I reckon, uh, I reckon Ryan's eyes are on that top spot. I don't think he's just going for top four here. He's going for that completion in the fastest time. And he's on pace so far with a minute 53 left on the clock. This is a promising run. Yeah, he makes the grab on the UFO. If he can get out of here successfully, he sticks the landing. And he has not used a single retry as he heads into balance. Now this is a deceptively difficult obstacle and now just attacking it with some pace here as Ryan is moving through with one of the fastest times we have seen to this point. In fact, this and might be the fastest time we've back. seen to this point. Yeah, and it will be interesting. The question is, is does he have enough gaffs left in the tank? I think he does. But can he pull off the mega throwback? That is a very technical and big and powerful move. And whether or not Ryan will be able to execute on that will be the next question. For a smaller athlete, this could be quite difficult. Not going for any cheese, just going for the throw. Here it is. He makes it right onto the cliff! And he's out of there. Ryan Cooper has made it to the Premier Series Finals, but still one obstacle to go away from the buzzer. Yeah, Ryan's job is not done here. And you can see him using his lightweight advantage here on the cliffhanger, and he gets what a the catch. Crowd. He Alex, could get through this course it. without a blemish. Just has to find that dismount. He does with the fastest time of the day and with not a single mistake. Ryan Cooper, he's <laughs> fired up. He's in first place. He's going to the finals. He's going to finish in the top two. He's going to space camp. Maybe not that last part, but an incredible <laughs> run by Ryan Cooper. Uh, just all round a flawless run, which is so rare to see on an on a course that is so difficult. Ryan Cooper throwing down the gauntlet.